All right, so onward again. We gotta go back, right? Because I fucking died. Someone was saying Exile Greatsword, but I don't know if I have the Exile Greatsword. Let me see. I got the Astora Greatsword, which requires 18 uh, stamina, or excuse me, 18 dexterity. It's actually not a strength weapon. It's not a strength weapon. Oh, here it is. Here's the Exile Greatsword. This requires 24 strength and 16 dexterity. A bloodstained greatsword wielded by one of the watchdogs of Farin. Spin slash is a special ability. Huh. There's also the Executioner's Greatsword. And that one I could actually use, but it's not as good as what I'm using now, so there's no point. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's continue, guys. Uh, back up to where we were and try not to fucking get stabbed to death in the rafters this time. Let's head back up. Wait a minute, it's the wrong way. That's the wrong way with the wrong direction. Whoops. I'm so used to going there. I went the wrong fucking way. I gotta go the other way. This way. I did okay, thank you, DJ Runo, for the cheer. And yeah, I know. It's it's always whenever you get a ton of support on a stream like today, obviously, yes, I am apprehensive, like, oh my god, could it be something fake? Is someone trying to troll? Is someone finding some underhanded means? Um you know, I don't know. And the, the bottom line is there's no way that I can tell. All I can do is hope that everything's legit. And if it is, great. And if not, oh well. We had something like this similar last month, if you guys remember. Last month. Overnight, there was a bunch of accounts out of, the, out of nowhere cheered overnight, and I didn't know what was going on with that, but it was legit. It was, they were legit, you know, so. Okay. There we go. There's the knight that killed me. I don't remember where I need to go up here. I know you need to go somewhere, but I don't remember where. If there's a door on the other side or whatever. Combat's way different, seriously. Combat's way different. Oh shit, I got his helmet. His combat's way different when you're using a two-handed fucking heavy weapon. Like, this is very, di very different from what I would have done in a normal run. Oh, there, I need to drop down over there, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I need to drop down in a certain area. Maybe right here. There's an item there I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, then I need to drop down, and then it allows me to flip a switch. That allows me to if you take advantage of one of the the uh, one of the the uh, walkways or something. I don't 100% remember though. I'm pretty sure there's a safe place to fall where you don't lose a ton of health. DJ Runo Chudy says the twist is that this Tutan Common guy today is actually Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thousand Arms says, aren't you glad you decided not to use the shield this time? It's definitely different. It's a different feel to be doing it this way. To have to dodge and then counter hit rather than block, 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 right? It's a very different feel. This guy is dumb as fuck. What? He didn't die. He has zero health in his health bar. He wasn't dead. What the fuck? I got his greed sword. Try rolling. Yeah, they're saying roll down there. Yeah, but if I roll down there, it's a dead end, see? I think if the if the bridge was up, then that would have been good, but the bridge ain't up yet. 
Try below. Yeah, but there's no bridge. I didn't lift the bridge yet, so that ain't gonna work. So I don't think I need to go that way. I don't think I'm supposed to go over there, right? Oh, there's my souls. I should grab those. Ben Boxer cheered and said that Tutankhamen must eat Ferrero Rocher. I've never had a Ferrero Rocher. There's a couple areas I could drop. I could drop down over there, right here. If I do a running roll, I believe I could land over here. But it may be too far of a drop. It may, like, take away a lot of my health. I could also... Yeah, see? I'm probably going to die. If I try to land here, I'm probably going to die. But there's an item there, and I think there's actually something over there I need to do, like a switch or something. Yeah, look. See? If I go down... Damn, I don't know where to go here. Huh. <laughs> There's the boss's area over there. If you remember, you go up there and it's right to the side room. But I gotta find a way to get up there. There's a stairwell. If I remember correctly, there's a stairwell behind that giant. I think that's how you can get over there. I think? I guess I do need to fall here. I guess I need to fall here and see what happens. Okay, now if I fall down again, right, now I can see what's in this area. I think there may be another lever that I need to pull. I think so. Did I just drink twice by accident? I think I did. Oh god, I remember these guys. covenant with these guys over here. Yep, there we go. Now let's cross. There's also a stairwell. Oh, yeah, there's a lot over here. There's a stairwell up. I think the covenant's up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Covenant's up here. The maggot queen or whatever the fuck her name is. Yeah, she's through this door. Let me kill this other one. What the fuck? This guy's glitched. He was supposed to... I think he's maybe supposed to attack me, but he's just standing here. Alright, I'm not gonna attack him then. Here we go. Uh, thank you, Marconi Bakery, for the cheer. He said to drop onto that... That ledge I did. 
And DJ Runo Cheery says, is the game not running at a constant 60 frames per second for me? Not constant. I would say it's probably more around constant 40 to 45. Uh, right now, it's not even 60 for me. Right now, I'd say it's about 40, 45 in this area. In some areas, it is running at 60. But as you guys have seen, there's been no slowdown. Like, there's been no problems. Even in areas with giant amounts of enemies, it's not like the game chugs along and stuff like it used to. I mean, on Xbox One, this thing was a pain in the dick. Alright, so we got a new bonfire. That's cool. And we're going to get a trophy for a new covenant. I should be able to go get a level, too. Monstrosity ahead. Yes, the Maggot Queen. I forget if she's supposed to be Rosaria, Mother of Rebirth. I don't know who the fuck that is. Rosaria. Join the Covenant. Why not? Got Rosaria's fingers and the trophy for the Covenant. I got the Pale Tongue. Sure, offer the Pale Tongue. Ultra appearance? Fire. Oh, okay, nah. Huh. Ah, uh, Stewart says it runs at 45 frames per second in combat mostly, but it can run from between 40 to 60 overall. Lots of videos on YouTube show this off. Okay. Any items or anything here? If only I had a two handing. The Maggot Queen. Delightful. Now you can become a maggot, says Tobias Alexander. Delightful. Alright, now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and level up. <laughs> Yuck. Alright, so now from here I gotta go across that bridge, see what's on the other side. Do I have enough to level up or do I need more? Welcome us. Very well, then take. Nope, I need 600 more, but Very I have well, souls I can use. One. How much is this? That was enough. Welcome, Very then take. More health could be very useful. More stamina would be useful. Both of these are good, so... I'll go with even more stamina. Farewell, may the flame. I just drank a flask completely by accident. Not that it matters. I wonder if I would have enough to level again if I use this. Nah, damn, I'm gonna be fucked. Wait, no, I should be alright. I should have enough, I think. Comments back and did a 34 bit cheer. Thank you to your comment. <laughs> All the support then touch today. The darkness, pick Should I go for vigor or endurance? I'll go for vigor this time. Here we go. Farewell, Ashen One. May the. Two comments doing it again. 800 bit cheer. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's back. To the comment. I don't know what's going on. I certainly. For, again, I have to say thank you so much. Dude. You've helped. I mean, obviously, all the support is tremendous. I just hope this is legit. Okay. Another 800, 900 bit cheer. Good lord. <laughs> Kekin, you missed it. Dude, Kekin, look at the top of the leaderboard today. Look at the top of the cheering leaderboard. <laughs> this guy came in today and did the most cheering ever in one day I've ever seen anywhere. It's insanity. He's doing more. Holy crap. All right. And he's still going. I right, hear you, Kekin. I mean, it's pretty tremendous. I've never seen this, this kind of support before. 
I'd say besides Christmas, on Christmas people were really, 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 really generous. I will admit that. Okay, let's go. So what's across here? Another whole new area. Liar or time for think carefully. Be wary of betrayal. I wonder who's that, who they're talking about. Dual charm. Two to comments still going, dude. Holy shit. Is that the other bridge? That's the other bridge that I think I, I raised. I don't think I can use that one right now. Oh my god, Toot and Common. Holy shit. Thank you. Are we near the boss or the shortcut? This is the door shortcut door, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta open this quick. This is the front door. Right now I'm above the giant at ground level. Yup, this is the, the front door. So from now on I can just go right here if I need to. Perfect. Cool. DJ Runo cheers says, do you think this is karma? Like a reward for users standing up against all the assholes trying to get in your way? I don't know. I asked Tutankhamen on stream earlier, I said, dude, if you want to give us your story, like, what's going on, why are you being so supportive, please do, and he hasn't said anything, so, perhaps he just prefers to remain anonymous and not reveal his intentions? The contraption does not move, fucking shit, I can't go this way, huh? Hmm. If I fall, I'm gonna die. Right? If I fall, I'll die. I don't have enough health HP to survive that fall. Guys, I would prefer, please do not talk about money in the stream chat. It is in the Twitch Terms of Service that I must bring up that bits are not money. They have no financial equivalent. And so please do not talk about that in the stream chat. I can't allow you guys to talk about that. Um, uh, let's see. Two comments going again. Thank you. Another 800 bit cheer, dude. Yeah, this is the beginning. Alright, so... I think what I need to do now... I think I have to go back down all the way to ground level. And, uh... I think I need to fight the giant. Or get by the giant. And when I say that, that giant right there is the one I'm talking about. Because isn't that the giant that if you run past him here... He has the stairwell behind him, and I think that's what brings you up into the boss area on that side. I don't think there's another way to get over there. Yeah. I think so. But I don't recall, honestly, I don't recall how to fight the giant without the sludge, because that's what fucks you over is the sludge. It makes you move so slow that you can't really fight him legit. Hmm. I don't remember what to do here. Hold on. I don't know. I'm almost positive I gotta get all the way back down now. But I don't remember how to do that. I think I have to go back the way I came. I do. I think I have to go back the way I came to the other shortcut. And then get down to the ground level again. Because I can't fall from here. I'll lose too much health and die. over here too 
And if I remember correctly, some of the items are pretty good. I should check over here, because I didn't go over here yet. Let me look around. I think there's items in a doorway over here. Yeah, look, there's a doorway, right? Oh, no, what is this? A lever. What does this lever do? Ah, that's what I needed to do. That's what I needed to do. I needed to pull both levers. I hadn't pulled this lever yet, I don't think. So now that that one's pulled, I think if I go back up now, I think I'll be all right. But I need to get all the way back up. There we go. Well, someone took me an, an anonymous dollar and said, just to be to be wary, this guy, this is a new account. This Tutankhamun Common account is a new person. And I, I, yeah, I get it. I don't know what else I could do about it, though. You know what I mean? Like, I have no control over any of this happening. So, I understand it might be a new account or whatever. And someone, it's, basically, people are saying maybe it's someone who's on a, an alternate account trying to support anonymously, which is awesome if that's the case. If there is someone here who's being anonymous supporter thank you very much and he's still cheering he's cheering in 1,000 increments and he's still going not. I guess this is not what I'm supposed to do because look, it's blocked. Shit. It's blocked. I thought that this wall would do something. I don't think it did anything, actually. Fuck. It didn't do anything, did it? Hmm. I'm confused. I don't remember this. All right, I think I think I was onto the right thing originally when I have to get past this giant to go up. I think that's what I have to do. I think this is all like a trick to make you think there's more to do, but there's not. Because I think that, that that wall there does nothing effective. It doesn't help you. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm going to try to get past this giant. I don't know how this is going to go. I better heal up. If I remember correctly, the bigger risk here... Like, the giant isn't so bad. The bigger risk is fighting it's just these little blob dudes. The blo when you're trying to fight the giant, the fucking blob dudes are trying to grab your ass. And I think that's, like, more risky than the giant itself. Nothing in here. No items. No secret door. Nothing. Because there's the stairs, but I gotta get around them to get to them.
still got the blob. Okay. I was stuck on the fucking blob. Thank you, Tutankhamen, for all this support! There's too many guys here to fight together. I wanna, like... What the fuck was that? Did you see that? The boss is through one of these doors. I don't remember which one. I believe this also opens up a shortcut somewhere. Is this the shortcut? I might just open the shortcut. Yup, I just did. I opened the shortcut to the front door. Nice. So now I can get straight here. Very cool. Very cool. before he even got up. So, well, Paradox Chitty says, something seems wrong. Mr. Goody Good Chitty says, all right, everyone, the next hour, pay attention to Tutankhamen cheers instead of gameplay because it's really exciting to watch. <laughs> and FJ Resto did a 100-bit cheers. I bet Tutankhamen is the CEO of Twitch. Now, I'm pretty sure he's not the CEO of Twitch. That'd be considered favoritism. So is this the Deacons of the Deep boss coming up? It is. It's Deacons. You think I could kill the Deacons with only four fucking Estes? It's not a very hard boss. I might be able to one-shot it. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll try. Should I give it a shot? It's only 3,000 souls if I lose. I'll give it a shot. And here, since I have since I have so many fucking embers, I'll just use one for this. See what happens. Okay. Middle. 
<laughs> in the fucking middle of the mall. Their soul and the small doll. There we go. Time for comfort. Alright, one shot. Wow. Tutankhamen Common did a 10,000 bit cheer during that segment. Holy shit. Well, thank you, Tutankhamen Common, for the support. I, I saw none of that because I was in the middle of this crazy fight. Thank you. Uh, I forget what the small doll is for. Isn't it a quest item? In the legendary city of Irithil, situated in a boreal valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to the valued subjects so they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. No, it's a story item to use in the game here. Apparently, this will open up the, air, the area, area with Pontiff, right? Yeah. Well, they got their asses handed to them. Can I update the leaderboard? Yes. There we go. Thank you. Holy shit. What a day. What a fucking day. Thanks very much, man. Yeah, at Paradox, of course, I'm, I'm super happy. Obviously. But I'm nervous that it's not legit. I mean, how, how often do you see this much support in one day, right? I mean, it's, it's insanely rare to see that. So I am nervous that it's not legit. But if it is, I mean, this is fucking amazing. Obviously, this is going to help out so much, during the, especially during the hardcore gaming season. All right. Okay. What are you talking about, 180K? No, guys, that's top cheer for the day. 
That's top cheer, not overall top cheerer. That's top cheer. His top cheer was 10k. Alright, well, we're done here, right? I needed the doll in order to get into uh, the area with Pontus Sullivan. So I'm done. I've actually finished up here. I've done everything I need to do. If I wanted to, I guess I could go back and fight the giant and try to grab the items near him, but I don't remember those items being anything particularly good. I could be wrong, though. I think what I need to do now is go back to the swamp, and in the swamp, remember there were the two guys blocking a door with a ladder down? I think that's going to get me into the, the swamp with the, with the dark shit, the poison and stuff, right? Okay. <laughs> Dazito. Dazito just said, some rich Arab prince has mistaken you for Ricky Gervais. It's the only explanation for today. I guess so. Huh. <laughs> That's right. The overall top cheer of all time was uh, was Aust Bank. That is correct, guys. Someone asked, you know, what was the overall top? It was him. What kind of boss weapon can I make? Oh, who's this? Whoa, it's them. I need to talk to them. Yeah, it's them. They're here. I need to talk to them for this quest line. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. That's right. Andre of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. Ah, because Aldrich turns into the, the one who left for his controls the boss from the first game. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Ah, the doll. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Okay. Aldrich's honest home is Irith. A pilgrim and so becomes. So that's where we meet them next, I guess. I guess so. I should level up. Oh no, I should see what I can do with boss souls. What can I do with these new boss souls? Fuck, this is the wrong one. God damn it. Wrong one. There we go. Uh, huh. so uh what do we got new? Uh, let's see, a sorcery called Deep Soul. Fires Dark Soul Drags. Or the Cleric's Candlestick. <laughs> Build a sword and a catalyst. That's it, right? Yeah. Nothing else good. Okay. Now, now. Do not be away over long. Okay. Okay, um anything else I'm trying to think before we head I, I guess I could level up once. I can only level up once though. Welcome us. Very well then taken. I can only afford once, yeah. I think someone told me that a uh, twenty is the cap for vigor. After that it doesn't really help anymore. I'm gonna do more vigor, more health. What? No, I didn't. By honest you, I missed that. No, I didn't see that. Huh. Alright, anyway. Um... Farewell, I should make the flame. Should I use Twinkling Titanite to reinforce this mace, or should I just stay with it as it is? Now, I'm thinking maybe later in the game there'll be a much better weapon that I'm going to want to use. And so I'm not going to want to waste all my Twinkling Titanite now, right? That is quite neat.
tell you what it needs? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Is it not using... Is it not using Twiggly Titanite? Because look, it's not asking to use items, right? It's not saying, oh, you, oh yeah, it does Titanite Scale. Oh, Titanite Scale! Titanite Scale doesn't use the Twinkling yet. Huh. Damn, it's a big increase to damage, too, to use the Titanite Scale. Lost Weapons use Scales. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I might just stay as is. Certain items like the Heisel pick use the Twinkling Titanite. I see. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it as is here. I'm just gonna leave it as is. All right, so we need, to, we need to go back now, right? We need to go back to... Is it the Crucifixion Woods? Yes, because from there we got to find where the two guys were blocking the door and take the ladder down. Okay. 